hemoglobin degradation this is mainly done by the macrophages that are present in the reticuloendothelial cells of liver spleen and bone marrow so the rbc after their 120 days of life span they undergo lysis to release hemoglobin this hemoglobin uh, has heme and globin now the amino acids which are present in the globin chain they enter the amino acid pool of the body so that they get reutilized again for different purposes whereas heme it has an outer porphyrin structure and center iron in fe2 plus state now this outer porphyrin structure uh, the sorry the center iron is transported to bone marrow Uh, which is again reutilized for erythropoiesis whereas the outer porphyrin structure is degraded to form bilirubin that is excreted through bile via the gall bladder so the, the mainly the end products of heme degradation are bilirubin and bilirubin both of them are called as bile pigments so bilirubin as such does not have any function in the body and has to be excreted through bile now where actually does this heme degradation takes place we have already seen this mainly occurs in the microsomal fraction or the macrophages of the reticuloendothelial cells of spleen liver and bone marrow now this occurs with the help of an complex enzyme system known as heme oxygenase so heme oxygenase is the enzyme system which is mainly responsible for degradation of the hemoglobin now this enzyme requires molecular oxygen and nadph as a cofactors and it is in induced by heme this enzyme is induced by heme now how actually this heme is degraded we all know that heme has a complex structure of outer porphyrin ring and a center iron atom so first this iron uh, this outer porphyrin structure uh, these are the pyrrole rings and these are the methyl bridges so firstly there is cleavage or the breakdown of this alpha methyl bridge in this porphyrin ring by this enzyme system called as heme oxygenase now this alpha methyl bridge this carbon of the alpha methyl bridge is uh, uh, released in the form of carbon monoxide and this enzyme mainly requires nadph as the cofactor and the iron which is present in the center fe2 plus is uh, released as fe3 plus now because of this uh, cleavage by the heme oxygenase system the ring structure the porphyrin ring is opened to form a linear structure called as biliverdin this is the first pigment that is formed in the heme degradation which is a green colored pigment now this biliverdin in the presence of biliverdin reductase which is an nadph dependent enzyme undergoes reduction to form bilirubin which is an orange colored pigment and this orange colored pigment is released into the circulation next what happens to this bilirubin how is it actually excreted out of the body so what is the fate of the bilirubin so the fate of the bilirubin is when once it is degraded in the macrophages of spleen liver and bone marrow this bilirubin as such is water insoluble so this bilirubin is has to be transported through liver now this transport occurs with the help of a transporter that is albumin albumin binds to this unconjugated bilirubin and carries it from the spleen to the liver now what happens when it leaches liver inside the liver there is a process called as conjugation now why is this conjugation necessary conjugation makes this bilirubin water soluble how it undergoes conjugation it undergoes conjugation with the help of this compound called as glucuronic acid and the enzyme called as udp glucuronyl transferase so this enzyme mainly glucuronyl transferase transfers glucuronic acid from udp to bilirubin to form u bilirubin monoglucuronide and if this bilirubin monoglucuronide undergoes conjugation again it forms bilirubin diglucuronide so about 80% of molecules are present in diglucuronide form whereas 20% are present in monoglucuronide form 
now when what happens after this conjugation process so after the conjugation process this bilirubin that is the unconjugated bilirubin which has been conjugated in the liver the bilirubin diglucuronide form it is secreted into the gall bladder this is the process of uh, transferring of uh, bilirubin diglucuronide from the liver to the bile is called as secretion so the water soluble conjugated bilirubin is secreted into the bile by an active process so this occurs uh, against a concentration gradient and this is the rate limiting step in the entire catabolism of heme that is it controls this is the step which controls the actual hemoglobin degradation now once it reaches the bile this bilirubin diglucuronide from the bile is excreted into the intestine it reaches the intestine now once it reaches the intestine the intestinal bacteria will again deconjugate this conjugated bilirubin to to form the the intestinal bacteria by the presence of the enzyme beta glucuronidase they will deconjugate it to form urobilinogen so the free bilirubin is further reduced to a colorless tetrapylol urobilinogen so this is the porphobilinogen compound that is formed in heme degradation process so what is the difference between porphyrins and porphyrinogens has been described in another video please watch it uh, so to continue this urobilinogen uh further undergoes the reduction of the vinyl substrates we all know the pyrrole ring which is present in the heme it has many substrates vinyl methyl propionyl all these substitutes so when this vinyl substitute undergoes reduction it leads to the formation of mesobilinogen and stercobilinogen so this stercobilinogen is further excreted through feces which gives the feces its characteristic brown color so around 250 to 300 mg per day of stercobilinogen is formed and which is excreted now there is another uh, thing or another process called as enterohepatic circulation where the urobilinogen that is formed in the intestine is transported to the kidneys so how it actually happens so the urobilinogen that is formed in the intestine about 20% of it will reach the liver through the portal blood so through the portal blood and this process of transferring the urobilinogen from the intestine to the liver is called as enterohepatic circulation so during this process some amount will reach about 4% of uh, urobilinogen will reach the kidneys and sorry less than 4 mg per day will reach the kidneys and it is excreted in the form of urobilin about less than 4 mg per day uh, this urobilinogen is converted to yellow urobilin and it is excreted this is what gives the urine its yellow color so final excretion urobilinogen and stercobilinogen both of them are colorless compounds Uh, which are oxidized to colored compounds that are urobilin and stercobilin both of them are porphobilinogens whereas these both are porphyrins so porphobilinogens are colorless whereas porphyrins are colored compounds so fecal darkening upon standing in air results from the oxidation of residual urobilinogens to urobilins both urobilin and stercobilin are present in urine as well as in feces so that is what is heme degradation uh, mainly occurs with the help of a complex enzyme system known as heme oxygenase which mainly breaks the outer pyrrole ring first and then forms a bilirubin which is uh, first transported to liver then it reaches the gall bladder through bile it is secreted and then it is secreted into the intestine so in the liver the main process that occurs is conjugation whereas in the intestine there is again deconjugation by the intestinal bacteria which forms urobilinogen and stercobilinogen which are excreted in the form of urobilinogen and stercobilinogen so this finishes thank you bilirubin degradation